24, William Byron. You want to have popularity in the sport. You want to have sponsors and fans and media and everything that comes along with it. That's part of a PR rep's job to make sure that you know we get to go do what we what we love to do. Can't do it without the sponsors and and the media plays a huge role in that. Everybody plays a role that just some not everyone thinks about when they think of racing in a race team. My main role is getting media scheduled for William, getting appearances scheduled for William, and all of those drive value for our partners, which helps being able to have William have a ride to get to the racetrack to begin with. During the week is mainly a lot of prep so that when we get to the weekend, it is as smooth as possible and it's mainly just executing with how detailed we get our schedules. You plan everything literally to the minute. Do you have a Sharpie or you need one? Oh, I need Okay. No problem. Preach. Preach. I'm just gonna do super random. <laughs> A typical weekend for me, um, even if William does say double duty with running trucks or Xfinity, I will show up as soon as the garage opens. I will get unloading content either for Hendrick or for our partners. Then we go straight through tech and I'm with the car and the team through tech until we pass. Green light. We just passed tech, so they're gonna bring the car back. I'm gonna get some content before they put it away for the night. Still has like another hour and 20 until the truck race. Her role is really to keep everything organized for us to run smoothly throughout the weekend, to get to appearances, to get to practice and qualifying, making sure we're not late to those, you know, trying to get to all those things, stay organized. Wait, we gotta get going. Just walk with him, guys. Interact with the fans as well, making sure that we're, you know, signing autographs. All those things kind of play a role, keeping everything off the track as seamless as possible. practice day, I will bring William his gear bag, which has his fire suit. We will walk together to the car. You have a Sharpie? No, During a practice or a qualifying session, I will grab more content while he's doing that. And then he'll do the media center. This is it, we're done. Can I answer those okay? Yeah. If there's anything I ever have to give you guidelines, I'll yeah. give you guidelines, but yeah. I'd still rather it be your words. Yeah. She's a great, you know, teammate to, to Hendrick Motorsports and all the teams, because she does more than just William Byron stuff, right? She's taken on a bit of an, of an extended role this year in sort of being the, the Hendrick representative of whatever those needs may be. Being manager of communications at the track means that I am one of the first lines of defense, essentially, if anything goes wrong. I'm there for crisis communication. I am there to lend a hand in anything that's going on, make sure everything that we need to have done is being covered. When the Garage 56 project came, it was scheduling media and appearances, autograph sessions, all of that for not only our drivers, but also some of our key personnel. It's a lot, it's a lot, a dream job, but it is very hard to be 38 weeks on the road traveling. I literally live out of a suitcase because it's you unpack and you repack the same clothes for the most part after you do laundry and it's off to the next racetrack. Traveling on the road, it is such a grind. So you've got to find a way to put the, the grind element away and, and think about it more as a process and kind of working towards certain goals. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. I mean, it's a long, long season. Race day, we usually hold like a marketing meeting to go over needs for the day, of what everyone has going on, if they have any logistical challenges, that sort of thing. So we have a pit crew shoot at 12 at our pit box, and then I have an interview with Jeff and William at one at Jeff's coach. Post race, obviously everybody, all hands on deck like usual, and then just communicate. Marketing on three, one, two, three. Marketing. marketing. <laughs> I think the biggest misconception is that people only see maybe 5% of my job. When fans and other people see you at the racetrack, they just think that you're babysitting the driver, that you're carrying the driver's belongings. And not saying that like, I, yes, I carry William's hat when he's in the race car, but that's not just what my role is. And that's the hardest thing to make people realize. One of the biggest projects I've done is having William and Jeff on Lego Masters. And the fact that that was now over a year ago and people are still talking about it and the lift that people don't realize it takes to make something like that happen. 
it's just awesome to see those results and know how much work you put into it. That's what every great PR person does. You know, they, they stay in the sport for a long time because people enjoy working with them. From the media side, right, the media's got to like them, but so does, you know, the driver and the team. And you've got to be very diplomatic, but yet be the bad person from time to time because you have to. Do you have a nickname? Mm -mm. Mom. Mom. Yep. Team Mom. Ashley, happy Mother's Day. Thanks for being our team mom. Anytime. Anytime. Love y'all. Listen, this is how I look at it. This is an honest opinion. When you got to deal with the type of people that we are, and you handle it all and strive, that's a big deal. For five that's years a, now. That says a lot about a person. To be together for five years now is is really a testament to just our communication. It's all, all about you know us being on the same page. We always find a way to make it work and uh, you know be able to work together uh, as teammates you know throughout the weekend. William's great. He is very refreshing to work with. People may not realize it, but you never know what he's going to say, what he's going to do, but in the best way possible. Let's go, great. Yep. Oh, William already said he's going to say the stupidest things. When you're walking, he said preach. Who says <laughs> preach? Preach. I've gotten to a point where like, I can basically anticipate what he's going to ask for, what he needs, that sort of thing, which makes it even easier on a weekend. Hey, Jeff. What's up? What's up? Yeah. How you doing? Good to see you, man. Ready to sweat today? Yeah. We're ready. Oh, Let's do this. Cool. What are we doing? Interview with Josh about throwback weekend. Easy enough. I'm going to go see Frankie now. Hi! <laughs> You're the real star. Hey, bud. He knows when there's a camera. Hey, uh, 158, because we have okay. to walk all the way to the other side of the garage. Okay. There'll be a lot of people. I give him a time of when we need to leave the coach to go to the driver's meeting, driver intros. I will meet him when he gets off the driver intro truck, go to the car. At the car, we try to like keep it to only partners or family. The car is like the guy's locker room and there's no real other sport that fans have access to a locker room right before a game starts. There's certainly times where maybe you're caught off guard, you weren't expecting to get surrounded by a, a, a group of fans, but you don't want to say no. And I think the team around you can help you be better prepared to make sure those moments don't overwhelm you. It's not that we want to sit there and tell people no, no autographs, no photos. It's just, we have to know that there are some boundaries. Once cars fire, I go to the pit box. I will do updates, not only to media, but on social. Social media is a pretty big role. During the race, I am updating the 24 Twitter team account to give fans updates of what's going on since it's hard for TV to necessarily cover every Corner. single driver Corner. during the race. Clear. Two, two and a half, whatever you need. Headlights on the back, make it live. Four tires on fuel. Leave it on the jack. Are you ready? Are you ready? Go, 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 go! William Byron wins the Goodyear 400. When the guys then go out to the car to celebrate, I immediately am grabbing William's things, going to victory lane. There's a basically a run a show of what we do for Victory Lane. Okay, that was insane. Here, take this. It's Thank not you. soft and cold. Okay. Yeah, Just take good. a minute. Yeah. We're gonna wait for the crew to get here. So yeah. you got a second. Yeah. Just breathe. I know, you're all hyped up now. <laughs> That's the 100th win, remember, for yeah. the 24. Yeah. But just remember, we got a while now. <laughs> okay. He's ready. You ready? team photos and then he'll do local media he'll do some national media then we do single photos Ready, one, two, three. Woo! okay Exalta, Cowboy, Chevy. okay so that's it for team everybody else is done good okay we're gonna go do media after the media center he does SiriusXM, and the nascar productions interview and then we are finally done see ya that's good
to be a good mic'd up there. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> See ya. Bye. The Darlington one was special. I mean, for one, it was Mother's Day weekend. So it was special to know that like my mom was there on Mother's Day when we won. Lando, where's Ashley Kirk? But then also the fact of it's throwback weekend, it's Darlington, it being the 100th win for the 24 car. To be able to be there for it and in that moment have Mr. Hendrick, Jeff, all of them there to celebrate in that just made it even more special. William had Aaron there, William had Frankie there. That was Frankie's first victory lane. We took more time to actually soak in the moment than we would for a normal victory lane. In those moments when you have so many things happening and then the hat dance, the noggin boss hat dance these days, Ashley juggles all those things so well. She's stern in the way where she knows what needs to get accomplished, but she does it you know, with a smile on her face. I actually have a photo from when I was a kid of me with Jeff Gordon. So it's a very big full circle moment, honestly, to be in this position, be with something that is so historic as the number 24. Jeff made the 24, yes, but we have also tried to kind of make it our goal to make the 24 now Williams, and so William can have his own legacy in this as well. Okay, you and me, let's do it.